everyone welcome back to my channel Hattie Homemaking where I make videos on homemaking, cleaning and lifestyle. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a get it all done with me so I needed to do a bit of a whole house refresh clean and then also cook dinner so I thought I'd make a video of getting it all done and I thought you could join along to watch me do it. So hopefully this video gives you plenty of motivation and cosy evening vibes since I did film this in the evening. It was a bit of a finish work, quickly clean the house and cook dinner situation. So I feel like it's quite relatable for the average person out there. So first of all, before I cook dinner, I like to get the kitchen really clean. So that's where we're gonna start today. So I'm just gonna start by removing the clean dishes that I'd already cleaned a couple of hours ago and putting them back away in the cupboards. I'm then going to move on to cleaning the new dirty dishes and also just giving the sink a good clean as well. I was so nervous to talk Happened so fast Went from so lonely to falling asleep in your arms I used to be afraid to fall in love relationship was a disaster but now I don't care cause you took my scars bruises and broken heart numbed all the pain show me how to heal and I Now moving on to the kitchen surfaces. So I just had a couple of things to put away today. It wasn't too messy. There was just some sugar out on the side, some juice, some snacks and Paul's laptop. So it was just putting those things away and then I'm gonna give it a good clean with the pink stuff and a microfiber cloth. You took my scars, bruises and I'm also just going to go over the hob a little bit just to remove any obvious food just with the pink stuff and the same microfiber cloth. I do usually give it a more in-depth clean but tonight was just more of a quick one just to make sure there's no food on it before I use it to cook tonight. And then to finish off the kitchen I'm just going to give it a quick hoover. So 
that is the kitchen done just a quick simple touch up one for today and then that is the kitchen much more refreshed and put together ready for dinner preparation how to heal and now I now just moving on to these little stairs so we live in a split level bungalow so we only have these four little stairs but they do get quite dusty so i like to go over them with hoover quite regularly just to remove the dust so that's just what i was doing here i just used two different hoover attachments one for the carpet and then one for the corners I don't feel broken now moving on to the living room so the main things i needed to do in the living room was just a general tidy up so i'm just starting off as always by picking up murphy's toys and putting them in his little toy box next i'm just moving on to the sofa just straightening up the blankets and the pillows and just folding the nice big fluffy blanket that i like to use in the evening closing in just remember where we go now moving on to the coffee table so i'm just giving it a tidy and putting everything away so that we don't have loads of clutter on the side then i like to hoover my coffee table sometimes just because it's got a couple of little grooves in it and different lines where crumbs and food get stuck in it because we do eat in our living room so i like to just hoover the crumbs out before i give it a proper clean with pink stuff and a microfiber cloth I'm also just going to straighten up our second sofa and I decided to do something a little bit different this time. I just folded the blanket over the top half of the sofa rather than the full sofa. Sometimes I just like to do tiny little touches like this to my home, just moving things about and it just helps me feel extra refreshed. Remind you that it's not. And now I'm just moving on to hoovering the living room and i like to give the rug a good hoover so i like to move around the coffee table as i do that we can breathe underwater nothing can hurt us anymore and as long as we're together it doesn't matter where we are and then just to get it smelling nice and fresh in the living room i'm going to use some febreze on the sofas and then i like to use carpet 1001 on the rug now i'm just fixing the curtain since it was paul who did the curtains this morning and i feel like he just doesn't have the same finesse <laughs> i have in terms of how i like to do the curtains so i like them just to be a little bit more bunched up rather than just pulled back and then that is the living room done and looking a lot more put together and cozy and ready for a lovely evening Now moving on to the bedroom so normally our bed is made by the evening but today I did have a little nap which is very unusual for me but I am getting over my illness still that I had so I'm a lot more tired than usual so I did have a little nap on this day so I'm starting out just by collecting all the clothes that were around in that room and then I'm going to move on to making the bed. Never felt tomorrow closing in this fast. Oh, I guess time's in a rush. Next, I'm just going to sort out the bunch of laundry we had. So I'm just going to fold up Paul's clothes. We had some bedding to put away, so I'm going to fold and put that away. And then the only thing of mine in there was my dressing gown. So I'm just going to take that into my dressing room. Ooh, what it means to grow.
And then to finish off in the bedroom, I am just going over with Febreze fabric spray. And then lastly, I'm just going to give the bedroom a quick hoover as well. And then that is the bedroom done. Yeah, now I know the time I got, it is just enough to get. Now moving on to my office slash dressing room, the first thing I needed to do was put my trainers away. So that is step number one. Next, I just wanted to sort out my desk. As I said, I pretty much just finished work on this day. So I still had everything just kind of thrown about on my desk and not organized yet. So I just wanted to put everything where it needed to be. And then I just had my dressing gown on the floor in this basket from where I took it before. So I'm just gonna pick that up and put it on the back of the door where I like to keep all my dressing gowns and hoodies and things like that. I'm fine, don't worry. Now I'm just sorting out a couple of laundry bits I had in my room. So just a couple of hoodies and things. Normally I'm a dress girl, but recently since I've been poorly, it's just been anything to keep me nice and warm. So I've just been wearing like hoodies and pajama pants on repeat. <laughs> So then I'm just going to put them all away in my wardrobe. And then finishing off in this room, I'm just going to give it a hoover. Now moving on to the bathroom, just going to do a very quick refresher today. This isn't an in-depth bathroom clean, but if you do want to see an in-depth bathroom clean, I will link my part one of my extreme clean with me. But today is just a quick refresher. So first of all, I'm just getting Paul's towel off the radiator and putting it on the back of the door ready for when he gets out of the shower tonight. Next, I like to pick up the bath mats and put them over the side of the bath just to make sure they're nice and dry for when we use them later and it also provides me with the space to actually clean the floor. And then I'm just going to refold the hand towel just to make it look a little bit neater. And now moving on to the sink. So the first thing I needed to do is we ran out of hand soap in the bathroom. So I took our hand soap from the kitchen and just poured half of it into the bathroom one. So we have a little bit until I go shopping and buy some more. Then to clean the sink, I'm just using Viacal and a microfiber cloth. Moving on to the shower, I'm just going to give it a quick spray with this daily shower shine spray. 
and then moving on to the toilet so today i'm just using these dettol wipes and just going all over the toilet with that I fall into you. Next I am moving on to bleach so I don't always bleach my toilet sometimes I use the coloured toilet cleaners but today I'd run out mostly so I'm just starting by putting bleach all around the side and using that to clean and then I had a tiny bit of duck toilet cleaner left so I'm just putting the last little bit of that in the toilet at the end just to give it a nice fresh scent. And now for the floor in the bathroom today, I thought I'm just going to do what's quickest and I took a wipe and just manually hand clean the towels using that method. I do actually really like using that method. I find it gets loads of dust and hair up as you will see at the end, which is pretty gross. <laughs> and then that is the bathroom complete. So now moving on to washing my hands, I'm just going to wash my hands to get rid of any cleaning products before I then move on to cooking our dinner. So for dinner tonight I did a HelloFresh meal so it was this spicy creamy chicken pasta so I just got out all the ingredients and the recipe lists and just made sure that there was definitely everything there that I needed. So to start off this recipe I just needed to chop up some garlic and then a shallot onion. I'm then putting on a pot of pasta. Look at these beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. And then once I've put my pasta on, I am just putting some spray butter into a pan ready to start the chicken don't worry I won't show any raw meat I know that really turns some people's stomach so I cut that little bit out so once the chicken is done then I'm adding the onion and the garlic into the chicken and then just cooking that for a couple of minutes until the onions go soft I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel the Next was time to add some Cajun spice to the chicken and the onions and then I'm adding things like passata, chicken stock and a little bit of water from the pasta. Once the sauce is mostly cooked, I'm then adding spinach bit by bit until it wilts down into the mixture. For stars, I want to drive a faster car. I'm gonna be... To finish off the sauce, I'm just adding some grated hard cheese and then some creme fraiche. Who knows? I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. 
And then once the pasta is cooked and then just mix in that all together with the sauce and then that is the dinner complete and then we'll just top it with a little bit of cheese at the end. As you can see this meal went down really well, Paul really enjoyed it. I struggled to eat all of mine, as I say I'm still getting over my illness so it was a little bit spicy for what I can tolerate right now so I ate about three quarters of mine and then luckily Paul enjoyed it so much that he finished mine. I feel like most of the time when we get Hello Fresh, we do end up with empty plates so it is worth it for us. So that is the end of my get it all done with me of cooking and cleaning i really hope you have enjoyed this video i hope it's given you plenty of motivation and it's been quite relaxing for you to watch so if you have enjoyed it then please do subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next one